Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's another really good example of how to begin to understand how to prove things in geometry. So here we have a line section from A to D, and it's subdivided into three smaller sections from A to B, from B to C, and from C to D. They're asking us to show that the distance from A to C is equal to the distance from B to D. And they do tell us that the section from A to B is equal length to the section from C to D, and it's different in length than the section from B to C. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we establish that AB equals CD, that the length from A to B is equal to the length from C to D. And that's obtained from the graph, and that's a given. So we can start from that as a premise, saying they gave us that. We don't have to worry about having to prove that, that it's simply a given quantity. Now the next thing we're going to do is the following. We're going to show that the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C must equal the distance from A to C. So what we're going to do here is AC is equal to the sum of AB plus BC. And what we're doing there is we're going to do the summation of two line segments and we could use the postulate of addition as a reason why we're able to do that, postulate of addition. And so what we're saying here when we use the postulate of addition is that it's self-evident that if we add the distance from A to B to the distance from B to C, that equals the distance from A to C. And that's why we can call that a postulate of addition. It's self-evident. We don't need to prove that. On top of that, we could also say that the distance from B to D is equal, from, is equal to the distance from B to C plus the distance from C to D. Again, we can say we can do the summation, and the reason why we can do it is because, again, we're going to use the postulate of addition, where we can say it is self-evident that the distance from B to C is equal to the distance from B to C plus the distance from C to D. Now we somehow have to prove this. So what I could do is I could say, all right, we'll go back to from A to C, and that is equal to AB plus BC. And then we could say BD is equal to BC plus CD. But then we know that the segment AB is equal in length to the segment of CD, which means we take the segment CD and replace it by AB. So now we're going to do BD is equal to BC plus, and instead of writing CD, the length from there to there, we're going to write the length from A to B because we know that's the same length. And so what we could do here is we're going to do substitution and the reason why we can make that substitution is because we can call that the, the substitution property of equality. And what this means is that if we know that, let's say, A is equal to B, we can replace A by B. In this case, we can say that the line segment AB is equal to the line segment CD, and therefore we can replace CD by AB because that substitution is valid, because they're equal, and therefore we use the substitution property of equality. I guess I need a Y at the end. All right, now I take a look at this. I take a look at this. Here we have AB plus BC. Here we have BC plus AB. So the next thing I'm going to do is write that BD is equal to AB plus BC. I simply rearrange the order of those two terms. So what I'm doing is I'm rearranging and why can I do that? Well, that is an algebraic property where we have the commutative property. The commutative property says that A plus B equals B plus A, so we can simply change the order, and so that's the commutative property. So that kind of goes hand in hand with this thing right here. All right. Finally, I see AB plus BC and AB plus BC. If BD is equal to AB plus BC, and AC is equal to AB plus BC, then from that I can conclude that AC must equal BD. Again, what I'm doing is I'm making a substitution. 
instead of writing AB plus BC, I'm substituting for what it's equal to, which is BD. And therefore, I'm making a substitution. And the reason why I'm allowed to do that, it's called the substitution property of equality. Which means that if AB plus BC equals BD, and AB plus BC equals AC, I can replace AB plus BC by whatever it's equal to, in this case BD, I substitute this by this, put it in here, and then AC is what I have here. So essentially, I'm recopying this line right here on the left side, I leave it alone. On the right side, instead of AB plus BC, I write what AB plus BC is equal to in terms of BD, goes in here, and therefore, I have now proved that AC equals BD. And that's kind of the methodology we use in geometry. Again, we explain what we're doing, and then we explain the reason why we're allowed to do what we're doing. And that is how it's done.